So in this tutorial I will be explaining how to extract the P300 component from an EEG data. So first uh, you will have to have installed the MATLAB software and also the EEG lab. So here I have downloaded the 2021 version of the software. I will leave a link uh, to the EEG lab in the description of this video. And then you will also have to download the FAST ICA toolbox from this website. I will also leave a link up the in the description of the video of this um, website, FAST ICA. So select your version accordingly. I'm using MATLAB and also I'm on a, a Mac computer, so I want to download this one. If you're on a Windows computer, um, download this one, the one that doesn't have uh, this extension. Uh, then go back to your uh, downloads folder and simply um, uncompress with double click and you will have this folder and, and you want to find what is the root in your MATLAB, uh, EEG lab. So mine is in my documents, MATLAB, and then functions, functions. When you reach the function folder, look for this one called seek proc function. And then simply um, bring this folder that you have uncompressed into this folder. Now you have it. So this is a, an alternative version of how to install the packages in the EEG lab because the conventional way uh, might be as follows. Okay, um, now that you have downloaded this, run the EEG lab uh, by this. Just press enter after this. And then you will have this pop-up version coming out and then usually to manage the extensions you go to the file menu manage EEG lab extensions you click there and then you will have a list of all of the available extensions for the software I think um, of them as toolboxes so while you are here, you want to install also two extensions that we will be use, using later. First one is faster. So just uh, click on that. And if you don't have it installed, and here will be appear not install. Just install or update. Uh, that's a, so it will be installing, reinitiating the, the, the system. And you will also want to install um, faster. Also, a second one will be adjust. So adjust. Go ahead and install it as well. So install here. And the last one that we will be installing is Sasika. So search for that one. Sasika. Um, install. This will be the last one. So once you have installed all of the toolboxes that we need and also fast uh, ICA, we are going to load, load the, um, the, the documents, the, the data on the software. So once this procedure have been completed, uh, please also feel free to download the ERP lab from this website uh, is uh, another toolbox 
think about it as another um, toolbox but even um, that uh, it does more than that so it's like a complete full menu inside the EEG lab that you can see here the ERP lab you want to have this and then later uh, just um, load an existing data set so I will be uh, having also a link in the description where you can find this data so mine is uh, here in my test I'm going to choose the one that is set oh actually this one then once you have it load apparently there are um, nine channels so this EEG experiment is a classic oddball experiment with nine channels this is the amount of frames per epoch recorded and then you go to plot and then you want to first um, select your data so in order to do so you need to uh, look for where in the data are your triggers so apparently uh, from this data are somewhere around here <coughs> so you can choose a number 38 record this number 38 these are the triggers the green lines uh, are where uh, things in our experiment occur so uh, take record of this one and then we will find out the last one so we will probably uh, write down a large number here and go back to see until what time uh, do we have information so usually it, we can uh, uh, take record of this number 615 then we close this then we go to uh, file no wait edit menu select data then you want to enter that range in this box from 38 space 650 when you do any modifications in your data this uh, new um, pop-up window will appear asking you to name the, the new data set so probably this will be our selected data select the data and if you also want to save this new data as a file you will have to do this uh, in the physical disk of your computer otherwise you just do this and you will have uh, access to these data sets from the data sets menu so here we have here this one and then we're ready to begin next step involves going here to the tools menu and decompose your data by ICA uh, check for the option fast ICA from this menu hit OK shouldn't take long and then again uh, go for the tools menu and this time for the Sasika option and on this one you need to be selecting the channels that you use to for your vertical EOG in this case I also enable these options usually autocorrelation focal component and the correlation with EOG so in these components you want to put the channels that we have used in this experiment which is ah sorry not here it will be out of four for this one or just and the channels will be a g h e o l space h e o r which stands for uh, the left and right and also here for the horizontal component will be V V E O U for the up and V E O L 
pretty low view L um, after that choose compute it will have these um, figures coming out then check OK and then uh, the menu will remind you about to exclude some of the components so go to tools and uh, you will have afterwards to remove components from data from the tools menu and then check OK. Please confirm. Are you sure you want to do this? Check OK again. And this one is the new uh, the new name of our uh, data set. So it's prune with ICA. Uh, let's check OK on that. Next step involves coming here to the ERP lab menu and go to the event list and create EEG event list. It's go going to give you this warning um, window. Let's check continue. And here we're going to export event list to text file. So browse the event list uh, should be in this folder, which it has the event list on it. Over here, um, event list. So you put on save. Do you want to replace it? Uh, yes. Then we create. <coughs> and then uh, we check OK for this. And then following up, you need to. Um, Okay, um, next will be a uh, yes here, assign bins, and uh, you come to browse, uh, also it's in the same folder, the bin list over here, you open that file, and then you want to say yes run from here and it will give you another um, pop-up uh, window saying that something was changed in that uh, data set so let's uh, say okay the next step involves coming here again to the ERP lab menu and you want to extract the bin based epochs and then you probably uh, here you can modify this range but uh, for now we're going to leave it in minus 200 uh, up to the 800 milliseconds and we hit run again it's going to give you uh, this information something new has been added to this data set we hit ok Next, you come here uh, to the ERP lab menu. And this time, we're going to uh, detect the artifacts uh, in our data. So we will use we will be using this simple voltage threshold. And uh, let the values as they are, and click in accept. Um, then we will um, have a new data set as usual. And we hit OK. Just close this uh, menu, this uh, visualization of the EEG signal. You have to hit update marks. And then it says, it says that um, epochs, trials, mark for rejection have been noted. Uh, let's hit OK. That and then yeah, you have to come here one more time, ERP lab. This time, uh, go to compute averaged. 
ERPs. Um, so you want to hit run on this. In this pop-up window, you have to give it a name here. So we're going to put ER ERP P, P, ERP P300 and we are going to hit OK. In bulbs coming here to the ERP lab menu and then you want to plot the ERP waveforms and click in this option and then leave the default uh, in this new uh, GUI plot and you will be able to uh, take a look at the P300 effect probably in two channels uh, or in three channels actually we have the in the PC um, in the FC and in the CZ channel in all of these uh, three channels you will feel that there is a, a slightly larger peak for the oddball uh, around the 300 here and um, around the 300 here and probably more uh, not noticeable here in the in these three channels um, so that that's the whole tutorial you can actually later on uh, save these as or um, export this figure or modifying the X levels and so on um, but that will be for a later tutorial thank you very much for viewing this video